Good morning. Welcome to Morning Special. 여러분 안녕하세요. 1월 14일 화요일 최수진의 Morning Special입니다. Now there are many things to be thankful for. A good meal, a nice book, perfect weather. But more importantly, there are people whose lives are a great source of inspiration. And from their teachings, we find means to steer our life in a way that calls for nothing less than being thankful for all they've done for us and the world. Namsudane s h u b a i c h o r o b u l i n i t e s o k s i m b u s o n j o n g s i p j u g i l m a j a g o y a n g b u s a n e k i n y o m g a n i j o s o n g d e s i m i d a Busan s o g u n e n i s i m b u e s e n g a d i j o g i n b u s a n s o g u n a m b u m i n d o n g i t e s o k s i m b u k i n y o m g a n e s o k e g w a n s i g i o n e l y e l i n d a g o b a k y o n n d e o i s i m b u g a b o m d a m a t o n h a n g u k c h o n j u g o s a l e s i o h e g a k i n y o m g a n u n y o n g e l m a t a t a y a n g a n s a o k a h e n g s a r t o n g e s o m g i m k i p u m 나눔 등 이신부의 3대 정신을 계승하고 발전시키는 거점 역할을 할 예정입니다. 관계자는 이신부의 참사랑 정신은 특정 종교를 뛰어넘는 인류 보편적인 가치라며 톤즈 빌리지를 통해 이신부의 참사랑 정신이 전 세계로 퍼져나가기를 기대한다고 말했습니다. Well, some people are certainly examples of dedication that we should learn from. And with that in mind, here's a quiz question. When you regard a person with respect or warm approval, you do this. 1번, you admire them. 2번, you administrate them. 3번, you adventure them. 청취자 여러분의 많은 참여 기다리고 있습니다. 퀴즈 정답 보내주신 분들 중에 추첨을 통해서 총 다섯 분께 떡볶이 세트 보내드리겠습니다. 또 여러분의 소식과 소감 그리고 방송 중 궁금한 질문 있으시면 보내주세요. 반디 게시판 무료로 이용할 수 있고요. 짧은 문자 50원, 긴 문자 100원에 샵 1045로 보내주시면 되겠습니다. Okay then, let's kick off today's show with today's global headlines. 세계 각국 언론사들의 어떤 헤드라인이 올라왔는지 살펴보는 시간입니다. Touch Global Headlines. Flight operations at the Philippines' main international airport have partially resumed after the airport was closed due to volcanic ash fall. 필리핀 수도 마닐라 인근에서 화산이 폭발하면서 폐쇄됐던 마닐라 공항이 항공기 운항을 부분 재개했습니다. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has said he will seek justice for those killed on board a Ukrainian passenger plane downed by Iran. Justin Trudeau, Canada 총리가 우크라이나 항공 소속 여객기 피격 사건과 관련해 정의를 추구하고 책임을 묻겠다고 밝혔습니다. China has officially opened operations of the world's largest radio telescope. 중국이 세계 최대 전파 망원경 텐옌의 정식 가동에 들어갔습니다. New Zealand has announced that all schools nationwide will have access to materials about the climate crisis starting this year. 뉴질랜드가 올해부터 기후 변화 위기와 이에 대응하는 자세 등을 학습하는 과목을 정규 교과 과정으로 편성했습니다. And for the headlines and much more, I'm joined by Steve. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Happy Tuesday, Sue. Happy Tuesday to you, too. Quite an incredible person you were talking about in the opening of the show today. Yeah, yeah that's right. He was known as John Lee to the children that he helped out in Africa. And he was known to be this jolly father who taught them how to play instruments mm. and played football with them. He was also a doctor as well as being a teacher and a musician. Mm. So he really sort of spoke. Spread this, um, I suppose, happy virus yeah. or spirit to yeah. the people, as well as, of course, helping them in practical ways because he was giving them vaccinations to an, a very, very remote village that otherwise didn't have the means to mm. have any of this. He was improving their lives and enriching their lives, and yeah. he dedicated his life. to helping other people right, have yeah. a better life on their own. Yeah, he came back to Korea for a, you know, a routine health check. He was mm. only here for a few days, but he found out that he only had a few months 
left to live because he had cancer, or a few years at most, you know. And yet he didn't say, OK, I'm going to spend the rest of my life here in Korea. Right. He said, I'm going back. I'm going to spend the rest of my life, whatever I have left of it, continuing to work with these children. And that's what he did. There was a, a huge documentary mm. about this, which I was very moved watching. And I also had the privilege of dubbing the English version oh, nice. of this documentary. Yeah. But there were moments when I was dubbing this and I almost teared up and I couldn't recall mm -hmm. properly. So I had to stop a few times. I was like, can we just have a moment? Yeah. And then, you know, it was tough, but it was very, very emotional. He dedicated his life to helping other people because that's, I assume, what he loved to do. And that's mm. probably why he went back to Africa as yeah. well, because he wanted to spend the remainder of his days doing what he loved so much. Mm. What a special person, huh? And today, yeah. is it today exactly the anniversary? Uh, no, the, this year marks the I 10th see. year. And so they've... Uh, built this new commemorative um, building venue for him mm. to mark that occasion. Yeah, and it leads us to the conversation of just happiness in general, right? And I think the key, you know, we always talk about it when the new year comes around, things that we will do, resolutions to make our lives better and mm. our own lives happier. But I think the key to just joy and happiness in your own life on a daily basis is appreciating little tiny things. Uh, I couldn't agree more. Things that you wouldn't even think to find joy in. For example, when I'm in my car and I'm approaching a light mm -hmm. and the light suddenly turns green, I feel like, that light turned just for me. Yeah. Or when you go to an elevator, right? And the door, for some reason, mm -hmm. the door's open and there's nobody on the elevator. Mm. Doesn't that make you feel good? It does. That's what I mean. Those little tiny things that you have to look for to maintain happiness on a daily basis, yeah, I think. Yeah, absolutely. And health is something that we take for granted all the time. Of course. That's something yeah. I, right now, because I have a bit of a cold, I feel it more, but every single day, I'm just healthy that I have five fingers on mm -hmm. each hand. I'm just healthy and, you know, that itself is a blessing, really. Well, that's what they say. Every day you wake up is a good day because yeah. it means you're alive. True. Right? That's a good question for our listeners, though, isn't it? What's it a is. what's a little tiny thing that you that makes you happy? You yeah. know, of course, friends and family and all of those things that we all know about. Mm. But what about a little thing like the elevator or something like that? 맞아요. 여러분은 생활 속에서 소확행을 느끼시는 게 있다면 우리와 함께 공유해 주셨으면 좋겠습니다. 어떤 작은 것으로 인해서 감사함, 행복을 느끼는 게 있다면 사연으로 보내주세요. Yeah, text him in. Maybe we can read some out later. 네, 그리고 이 님, good morning. Good morning to you too. 조주희 님, hello, lady in red. I think, I think that one is for you. <laughs> lady in red. Thank you very much. <laughs> 김보정 님, 좋은 아침이에요. 어느새 1월도 반이 지나갔네요. 2020년 새해 다짐 다시 되새기며 오늘도 화이팅입니다. 하셨습니다. Are we already halfway through the year? I mean, not the year, the, the months. <laughs> How <laughs> long is the year in England? <laughs> oh, it's days. February. What's your resolution <laughs> for next year? <laughs> wow. Uh, through this month? Yeah. yeah already already halfway to February. Oh, 시간 정말 빨리 가네요. I know. And so Lal is right around the corner. Oh, it is. Yeah. Wow. Well, keep sending in your messages and greetings. We will now go over today's headlines. Headline number one this morning. Flight operations at the Philippines' main international airport have partially resumed after the airport was closed due to volcanic ashfall. 필리핀 수도 마닐라 인근에서 화산이 폭발하면서 폐쇄됐던 마닐라 공항이 항공기 운항을 부분 재개했습니다. A lot of flights uh, delayed or cancelled, mm. at least 240 as a matter of fact on Sunday, grounding tens of thousands of people traveling uh, through the Ninoy Aquino International Airport. That's the name of the airport uh, in Manila. Uh, one flight did land. That was carrying President Rodrigo Duterte. But uh, partial operations of other flights resumed throughout the day. And in a joint statement, the Department of Transportation, Manila International Airport Authority, and Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines, they said flight arrivals would... Uh, depend on subject to slot availability and that de uh, departures would be prioritized to clear the airport ramps of planes parked there since Sunday night. And this is all due to the Tal volcano. Mm. There were no reported human fatalities or injuries directly related to this volcano, but there was an indirect um, accident, a traffic accident, in fact, where mm. a truck driver uh, wasn't able to see very clearly because of the ash mm -hmm. and because of that, 
he toppled over and unfortunately um, he died from that accident. So it was an indirect, I suppose, effect from this. But other than that, no reports of human deaths. However, as you said, hundreds of flights cancelled yeah. and accumulated 500 is what I read in one report. Oh, is that right? Yeah. If you're watching Poin and Ah, just a moment ago, you could see the images of the ash spewing out of the volcano mm. and then uh, the streets and the homes. It just created a huge mess because lava and these columns of ash. And did you see the images of what, as well of the lightning? Yeah. It it looked like a video game or a mm. horror movie. The lightning within the ash clouds, it was really quite something to see. Anyway, all of this spewed out of that volcano on Monday, January 13th, and they were warning of a possible explosive eruption. Uh, this volcano, by the way, again, it's called Tal Volcano. It's a really popular tourist attraction because it's in the center of a lake. It's really, really beautiful, the location. Uh, but it wasn't so beautiful while this was happening, of mm. course. Uh, more than 16,000 people were evacuated from the volcanic island and the area immediately around it as dozens of tremors set residents on edge. They were very afraid of this. 네, 그렇습니다. 현지 시간 12일에 이제 탈 화산 폭발로 인한 그 화산재로 이제 공항이 폐쇄가 됐었다가 현지 시간 13일 운항이 부분 재개됐었는데요. 완전히 운항이 정상화되기까지는 상당한 시간이 걸릴 것으로 예상이 됩니다. 직접적인 인명 피해는 신고된 게 없다고 하지만 어 이제 어제 같은 경우 현지 주식 거래소도 문을 닫았고 학교는 어 인근 지역의 학교는 전부 다 휴업을 하는 등 오늘도 연장해서 휴업하는 학교도 많다고 합니다. This is one of the world's smallest active volcanoes and again it sits in the middle of that lake about 70 kilometers south of the center of of the capital Manila and scientists are worried that it could soon erupt even more violently putting almost a million people uh, at risk they said that another imminent hazardous eruption could happen within hours mm. or days that's according to the Philippines Institute of Volcanology and Seismology 네 그렇습니다 그리고 또이 관련된 사연이 하나 들어와서 지금 소개를 해 드릴게요 Steve could you read this message from Chebong Nim Nim Yes it says I've got a message from one of my Filipino friends and she said to me that it looks like war there and I saw many pictures that she sent me and it made me feel very sad I hope all of the things will recover as soon as possible mm. Yes, as we saw in the footage earlier on, it does look like something catastrophic blew I up there. I saw some uh, more video footage of just nearby areas where the ash, so much ash had fallen on the streets that they were using shovels uh, or brooms or whatever they could to remove it from the streets. And mm. it was a thick, it was a very thick layer of it. So hopefully that's the end of it. Mm -hmm. A lot of Koreans also reside in the Philippines and also around Manila. So we do hope that everyone is safe there. Yeah, it is one of the more active volcanoes in the Philippines. It's erupted more than 30 times in the past five centuries, most recently being 1977, of course, until this time. Mm -hmm. uh, but authorities are taking their precautions and hopefully people are as well. And like we said, hopefully that's the end of it. All right. Well, unfortunately, from one accident, uh, a natural accident to this time, a human error, we're going over to the Ukrainian flight crash that killed Dozens of Canadians for headline number two. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has said he will seek justice for those killed on board a Ukrainian passenger plane downed by Iran. Justin Trudeau, Canada 총리가 우크라이나 항공 소속 여객기 피격 사건과 관련해 정의를 추구하고 책임을 묻겠다고 밝혔습니다. So Mr. Trudeau was speaking in Edmonton, Alberta at a vigil for the 57 Canadians killed in the disaster and he promised to pursue answers from Iran uh, which admitted its military shot the plane down in error killing mm. all 176 <coughs> people on board. Uh, Iran had previously rejected suggestions that it was to blame but this is what uh, Prime Minister Trudeau had to say. He said, this tragedy should have never occurred, and I want to assure you that you have my full support during this extraordinarily difficult time. Mm -hmm. You give us purpose to pursue justice and accountability for you. He was speaking to about uh, 2,300 people at the time, and he said, we will not rest until there are answers. Exactly, and answers uh, were exactly what people around the world were asking for. In fact, the reaction from Iran and 
and the very stalled response. You said they admitted that there was human error, but it took days for them to admit that. Yeah. Initially, they said this was definitely not a missile hitting the plane. And then days later, after speculation after speculation, Iran said, in fact, it has turned out to be a human error. We thought it was a U.S. missile striking or a, mis or a U.S. plane, and so we downed it. We did not know it was a civilian plane. It was, of course, very dark, but nonetheless, it was a mistake that should not have been made. Uh, of course, and people are very unhappy about this abroad, but they're also very unhappy about this in Iran. They had a wave of anti-government protests on Saturday, mm. and then demonstrators again returned to the streets despite the large deployment of security forces. Interesting, uh, too, in one apparently symbolic act rejecting state propaganda, this video showed students taking care not to walk over U.S. and and Israeli flags painted on the ground. And in some social media clips, protesters can be heard chanting anti-government slogans, including, they are lying that our enemy is America, our enemy is right here. Yes, that's right. It was a few 그 인간의 뭐 실수다, 그뭐 human error 이렇게 얘기를 했습니다만, 그러니까 이 여객기를 어 미국의 전투 어 항공기로 오해를 해서 이제 미사일을 발사했다고 합니다. 그로 인해서 그 즉시 탑승하고 있었던 176명의 승객이 전원 사망을 했고요. 그 중에는 이중국적인 이란 국민들도 굉장히 많았다고 합니다. 자국민을 이제 어떻게 보면은 미사일을 로 피격을 한 셈이 됐죠. 그리고 또 캐나다인이 57명 탑승하고 있었는데 전원 사망을 했기 때문에 어제 추모 기도회를 통해서 캐나다 총리가 앞으로 정의를 추구하고 책임을 묻겠다 이렇게 밝히면서도 또 이란과의 이제 조사에서는 협력을 또 하겠다 이렇게 밝혔습니다. President Trump tweeted out uh, that the world is watching. More importantly, the USA is watching regarding uh, Iran not targeting their anti-government protesters because security forces were out. I think they used tear gas against the protesters. And also, uh, Britain has condemned the arrest of the UK ambassador in Iran to Tehran, or in a, uh, Tehran, excuse me, as of late, of it. A flagrant violation of international law. This is what happened. Foreign Secretary Dominic Robb said Rob McCare was detained on Saturday. Rob McCare was attending a vigil. Mm -hmm. He was paying respects to the victims of the crash, some of whom were British. We know that. But Mr. McCare said he left the vigil when some people started chanting the chants that we talked about. And he had no part of the demonstration, but he was detained as a result of that. Mm -hmm. And the UK is, <clears throat> is not happy with that, obviously. 네, 그렇습니다. <웃음> 또 이제 캐나다로 다시 돌아가자면 간단하게 어, 몇 가지 어, 말씀을 드리자면 40년 만에 이렇게 단일 사건으로 캐나다인이 사망한 것은 최다라고 합니다. 그리고 또 2012년에 캐나다와 이라는 단교를 했는데요. 이번 피격 사건으로 인해서 어, 캐나다에서 어, 비자를 발급을 받고 캐나다 외무장관이 이란의 조사팀을 파견하고 또 직접 간다는 소식까지 전해지고 있습니다. Okay, moving on now to our next headline. Let's go to China. China has officially opened operations of the world's largest radio telescope. 중국이 세계 최대 전파 망원경 Tianyan의 정식 가동에 들어갔습니다. So China will be using this telescope for space research and help in the hunt for extraterrestrial life. That, according to the official Xinhua News Agency, uh, this is huge. It's 500 meters. It's called the 500 meter aperture spherical telescope, or FAST, and it's the size of 30 football fields. They cut it out of the side of a mountain in the southwestern province of Guizhou, <laughs> and it's also known by the name Sky. I in China, and you're seeing uh, some digital images of it right now. It is a big, big, big device. 네, 그렇습니다. 축구장, <웃음> excuse me, 축구장 한 30개를 합친 한 25만 제곱미터의 면적인데요. 어, 46만 개의 반사 <웃음> 디스크, excuse me, I think I need some water. 음. Um, <웃음> 디스크로 이루어진 네, 그런 망원경이 되겠습니다. 
if I can briefly summarize one more point there. 우주의 기원을 이제 연구하고 또 외계 생명체나 문명을 찾기 위해서 앞으로 3에서 5년간 연구를 진행할 것이라고 합니다. They finished construction of it back in 2016 and since that time they've been doing different debugging tests on it and so far so good. Fast chief engineer Jing Peng told Jinhua that the telescope's trial operations had so far been reliable and stable mm. and that its sensitivity was more than two and a half times that of the world's second largest telescope. And yeah, they've been able to obtain some valuable scientific data over that time and they're expected to help lead some breakthroughs uh, in other uh, scientific fields. And uh, advancing China's space program is a priority for Beijing. The country has set a target to catch up with Russia and the United States and become a major space power by 2030. Mm. And Beijing plans to launch construction of their own manned space station just next year. Wow. All right. Well, moving on from China to our final headline. This is in New Zealand. Uh, New Zealand has announced that all schools nationwide will have access to materials about the climate crisis starting this year. 네, 뉴질랜드가 올해부터 기후 변화 위기와 이에 대응하는 자세 등을 학습하는 과목을 정규 교과 과정으로 편성했습니다. Yeah, this is quite interesting. Mm. Uh, talking about school curriculum. So these materials will include tools for students to plan their own activism and to process their feelings of what they're calling eco anxiety over global warming. Uh, the curricul uh, curriculum is going to put New Zealand at the head of climate change education around the world. Uh, other governments around the world, Australia, for example, the UK, for example, they have both been criticized for a lack of teaching in the classroom on climate change. Uh, but this scheme in New Zealand will be offered to all schools that teach 11 to 15 year old students. It will not be compulsory. Mm. Uh, it will be available for the students to study, but again, this puts New Zealand basically in the lead of yeah. this type of education. 그러네요. 11세에서 15세 학사, 학생들이 대상이고요. 어, 이제 정규 교과 과정으로 편성이 되지만 어, mandatory는 아니다. 지금 그런 얘기를 해주셨어요. 선택은 또할수 있게끔 한다. 이런 내용이 될것 같고 어, 뉴질랜드가 어떻게 보면 이제 환경 문제를 교육하는 데 있어서는 좀 선두 that eco-anxiety term I thought was quite interesting. So a group of British psychologists, they warned back in September of last year that young people feel betrayed and abandoned by older generations over their lack of action on the climate issue. And they worry about the fact that it has increasingly sparked anxiety and depression. Mm. So a pilot of this New Zealand plan, which ran in one school in Christchurch in 2018, uh, it led to the introduction of materials for the rollout of the program that helped students process their emotions about the climate issue, a.k.a. eco-anxiety. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, those are our headlines this morning. Let's remind our listeners of the quiz. When you regard a person with respect or warm approval, you blank them. Is it number one, admire, number two, administrate, or number three, adventure? 네, 총 다섯 분께 추첨을 통해서 떡볶이 세트 보내드리겠습니다. Neil Young의 Heart of Gold 노래 듣고 와서요. 여러분의 사연과 News Focus 살펴보도록 하겠습니다. You're listening to Morning Special. It's a Tuesday and we asked you earlier on if you'd like to share some small things that you're grateful for that make you happy. And we'll talk about those right now. 국순혜 님이요. Steve 선생님, 저도 그래요. 엘리베이터가 바로 대기하고 있을 때 도착하자마자 초록불이 들어와서 바로 건넜는데 내가 타야 할 버스 정류장에서도 바로 버스가 도착할 때 oh, 등등등. Yeah. So lots here. I've, I've read it too fast. But the elevator opening as soon as you get there, the green light, the bus arriving at the mm -hmm. bus stop, all of these things. 소소하지만 정말 기분 좋아요. 하루가 술술 풀릴 것 같은 그런 좋은 예감이 듭니다. When you walk up to the bus stop just the as bus the bus arrives, is arriving, I love it. it's like <laughs> the driver knew you were coming and timed it just for you, right? Yeah. Love it. Really, really love that <laughs> feeling. And the elevator as well. Yeah. 
음, Amazing. 맞아요. 아, 정말 공감이 많이 됩니다. 국순애님 사연 감사합니다. 김보정님이요. 소고기를 확실하게 먹는 행복 말씀하시는 건가요? <웃음> People will not forget your definition of 소확행. <웃음> 저는 출근길에 모스를 듣고 퇴근길에 모스 복습하는 게 아, 큰 행복입니다. Most forever 하셨어요. The things that make me happy are listening to morning special live in the morning and then listening to it again as a review uh, it later on in the evening. That makes us happy too. Yeah, indeed. Thank you so much, Kim Bo-jong-nim. 8474님이요. 바로 지금 이 시간. 식구들 다 출근시키고요. 모스 크게 켜놓고 진하게 카페라테 한잔 마시는 여유가 일상의 소중한 행복이죠. Yeah, wake up in the morning, get that nice cup of coffee, yeah. turn on your favorite radio show. That's a good way to start the day, I think, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, indeed. Oh, I love that. Thank you so much. It's really putting a smile on my face. Absolutely. 정성엽 님이요. 저녁 준비할 때쯤 베란다 창 밖으로 해지는 풍경을 보면은 감탄이 터져 나와요. As I'm preparing dinner when I look outside and see the sunset, the changing color of the skies makes me really really happy. 음. 저렇게 멋진 광경을 볼수 있음에 그저 행복하고 감사한 순간입니다. Those are the moments that make me feel happy and grateful. Oh, look at us here. We're grinning ear to ear, <laughs> both know. of us, right? Because of those nice messages. Ah, I, that's it. That's it. That's all that's to life, right? Yeah. These little tiny moments, we string them together. These little tiny moments that create a nice happy day, right? Exactly. And isn't it amazing how just by sharing that experience, everyone else becomes happy too. Yeah, exactly. Ah, 아, 너무 좋네요. 오늘은 이렇게 서로 서로의 소확행을 얘기하고 공유함으로 인해서 그런 행복 바이러스를 전파하는 그런 날이 됐으면 좋겠습니다. However, there are places around the world where things have been looking a little troublesome. We have a listener in the Philippines who says, 공민영 님인데요. Good morning. 어, 저는 필리핀 중소도시인 나가시에서 생방송 듣고 있습니다. I live in a small city and a few days ago I saw steam and smoke and I wasn't sure what it was. It turned out this was the, I suppose, a sign that the volcano was about to erupt mm. days prior to the actual eruption. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so I didn't realize that's how it works with volcanic eruptions, is that you can kind of see it coming, perhaps, some I steam it, or some smoke coming out? I guess it's different depending on where the volcano is. But mm. you mentioned it's in a lake, right? Yes. So that's why, why there's maybe some steam and mm. um, evaporation occurring here and there. 어, 네, 공민영님이요. 지난주 일요일 나가시 근교에 있는 화산에서 수증기가 유독 많이 올라오더라고요. 그때는 몰랐는데 그게 전조 증상이었나 봅니다. 무엇보다 필리핀 현지에서도 화산으로 인한 인명 피해가 없어서 다행입니다. 하셨어요. It is such a relief that no one was you know, hurt. Yeah, uh, from this. there were quotes from residents saying we couldn't even sleep at night Ooh. because of the fear because of an, of the eruption, right? Yeah. So, yeah, again, back to reiterate that point mm -hmm. is that we hope everything's going to be okay down there. Yes. Well, thank you for sending in all of your messages. Keep sending those in and also the quiz answers. If you have any questions, ask away. We have five Dokboki sets waiting for their new owners. Now let's take a look at our news focus stories. 자, 첫 번째 news focus 이제 살펴보겠습니다. 미국의 여성 노동 인구가 역대 두 번째로 남성을 추월했습니다. 여성 노동 인구의 비율이 50%를 넘어선 것은 글로벌 금융 위기 여파가 컸던 2010년 4월 이후 약 10년 만인데요. Let's listen to the story. <목소리> Women have replaced men as the majority of job holders in America, and the roles they are choosing signals a labor market shift. 
Women held 50.04% of non-farm payroll positions in December, the highest share since 2010. The proportion has been steadily ticking up in recent years as a tight labor market pulls them in and offers higher wages and perks. Over the past year alone, they've taken on a greater share of positions traditionally held by men. They make up 13.8% of mining and logging jobs, up from 12.6% a year earlier, as well as a growing share of manufacturing work, and are climbing toward holding one-third of transportation and warehousing roles. 네, 미국 노동부의 발표에 따르면 은 아, 미국의 농업과 자영업을 제외한 부문의 노동 인구에서 여성이 남성보다 50.04% 그러니까 아, 반보다 살짝 더 많은 비율을 차지했는데요. 이게 한 10년 만에 여성이 남성을 추월한 것입니다. We need women to run the world. And they're doing that. We know step that. By step. Beyonce <laughs> sang about it. She sang the song. Uh, it is an interesting shift, isn't it? Yeah. 50.04% uh, mm. now overtaking men in the job market. And cool to see these numbers, you know, 13.8% of mining and logging jobs. That's an increase from the year before. Manufacturing, transportation, warehousing roles. These are jobs that were typically done by men in the past, mm. but now being done by both men and women. And that's a great thing. Yeah, it is. So what does it mean to tick up? So to tick up means to increase slightly mm -hmm. or to increase by a little bit. Mm -hmm. So let's use this number, 50.04%, as our example. If that number has been ticking up over the years, then maybe a few years ago it was 48.6%. Mm -hmm. And then the following year it was 49.1%, and then 49.8%, and then finally 50.04%. Those numbers are examples, mm -hmm. but they are examples of uh, ticking up because mm -hmm. you can see the small increases over time. Just like when a clock ticks, tick, ah. tick, tick, it's a small increase in time. Mm. And this is uh, the same meaning here, except we're not talking about time, we're talking right. about numbers. Oh, 그렇군요. 시계가 우리는 똑딱 똑딱 이렇게 간다고 하는데 영어에선 틱톡 틱톡이라고 합니다. 그래서 그 틱처럼 이렇게 부분 부분 조금씩 업프니까요. 조금씩 오르고 있다. 이렇게 보면 되겠습니다. 여성의 비율이 점차 조금씩 오르고 있다. Now there's two two different ways that we can use this because you can say an up tick as well. So let's use uh, for an example an increase in the number of foreign residents in Korea. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can make the sentence two ways. Uh, over the past few years, the number of foreign residents has been ticking up. Uh -huh. Or you can say there has been an uptick mm. in the number of foreign residents. Both mean exactly the same thing. 네, 아까 동사로서 tick up를 봤다면은 명사 형태는요 an uptick라고 할수 있습니다. 한 단어로 쓰는 거예요. 이때는 그래서 increase 대신에 증가라는 의미로 there was an uptick or there has been an uptick of whatever 이렇게 exactly. 얘기를 하면 되겠죠. Yes. And perks. Perks. These are great things. Yes. Perks are small benefits, small or big benefits yeah. actually, right? One of the perks of working at EBS is that you get to get the uh, Pengsu diaries that only we can get here. Oh, I was going to say one of the perks of working at EBS is working with you. Oh, but apparently, you. But apparently you're more excited about a penguin than you are about me. Aren't we all? <laughs> <laughs> Let's say at your office, um, you get your own parking space. Oh, oh, wow. That's one of the perks of the job. Mm. Or maybe you get a free lunch yeah. at your company. That could be a perk of the job as well. Maybe you have casual Friday. That could mm. be a perk of the job. Mm -hmm. Or you could also use this sarcastically. Oh. If uh, you have your baby with you right now, Sue, or if you had a baby, mm -hmm. and then the baby went uh, and threw up on you, <laughs> you could say, uh, one of the perks of the job. Ah, But you're okay. using that sarcastically, I right? See. Yeah. 보통은 어떤 이제 회사 생활을 하게 되면은 예를 들자면은 그 회사 로고가 들어 들어 있는 문구류를 사용할 수 있다든지 이런 것들이 
어, 이렇게 월급에 포함된 것은 아니지만 이 회사를 담임으로 인해서 우리가 얻을 수 있는 어떤 좋은 점들이잖아요. 이런 것들을 파크라고 합니다. 그런데 이제 뭐 조금 비꼬듯이 파크라는 표현을 쓸 수도 있다. 어, 이런 얘기를 잠깐 해주셨습니다. 자 여기서는 이제 여성의 노동 인구가 많이 증가한 것에는 여러 가지 이유가 있지만 이런 파크들도 굉장히 많아졌다. 어디 이제 회사를 다니면은 뭐 이런 저런 뭐 좋은 혜택 같은 거죠. 그런 거 받을 수 있다 이런 뜻입니다. All right, let's move right on to our second news focus story. Yeah, you want Peng Su to come in here and cover it for you? <laughs> the greatest perk of working on morning special is you, Steve. There you go, I said it. <laughs> 자, 두 번째 news focus로 바로 가보도록 하겠습니다. 지난 12일 멕시코 수도 멕시코 시티의 도심 소칼로 광장에는 수백 켤레의 빨간 신발들이 놓여 있었는데요. 멕시코의 빈번한 여성 살해와 성범죄에 대한 경각심을 높이기 위해 멕시코 예술가 엘리나 차우베트가 펼친 퍼포먼스 시위라고 합니다. Let's listen to the story. Activists placed hundreds of painted red women's shoes on Mexico City's sun-drenched main square Saturday to call attention to gender-based violence in a country where, on average, 10 women and girls are murdered each day and less than 10% of the cases are ever solved. There has been a string of public demonstrations in recent months over violence against women, including angry anti-rape protests in which demonstrators tossed glitter and defaced monuments and more low-key marches and even knit-ins. President Andres Manuel López Obrador has pledged to make femicide and other gender-related crimes a priority. Uh, interesting. Red shoes mm. here and there. Yeah, that's right. And demonstrations uh, by a lot of angry people over issues that need to be taken care of mm. or at least steps in that direction because these numbers are absolutely shocking. Yeah. In Mexico, 10 women and girls are murdered each day. Oh. That's one shocking statistic. Mm -hmm. And another shocking statistic, less than 10% of the cases are ever solved. Oh my goodness. That needs to change. 네. Both of those things need to change. 그렇습니다. 여성 폭력을 항의하는 어, 시위로 이렇게 빨간 신발이 여기저기 놓여 있는데요. 지금 보이는 라디오로 영상을 하나 띄워 드리고 있습니다. 음. 빨간 구두 시위입니다. So they called this uh, area the sun drenched main square. So let's talk about the word drenched. Drenched means completely covered, completely wet, 음. completely soaked sometimes. So if you come in from the rain outside and your hair is totally 100% wet. Yeah. And your t-shirt and your jeans are 100% wet. Mm -hmm. Your shoes are 100% wet. Then you can say I am drenched. 음, 그렇죠. Drench 그러면은 어, 뭐 비에 흠뻑 젖다 하는 것처럼 drenched in water, rain, I don't know, 뭐 이런 식으로 어, 뭔가 어, 물을 이제 흠뻑 맞았을 때 젖었다라는 의미로 볼 수도 있고요. Can you talk about food? You can. Drenching it. I actually wrote that down as ah, an example. All right. Uh, I went for a chicken sandwich at mm -hmm. a restaurant one day, mm. and it was a teriyaki chicken sandwich. Nice. But I couldn't enjoy it because the sandwich was drenched in sauce. Oh, no. It was just too much too sauce. Too much. So mm. it... With food, mm. it can be a positive meaning or a negative meaning. It depends. You can tell by your voice tone mm -hmm. whether you think that's good or bad. For example, if I say, oh, you should order the nachos yeah. at that Mexican restaurant, mm -hmm. they come drenched in cheese. Mm. And that sounds like a good meaning, right? But if I say, oh, oh that sandwich, it was drenched in sauce, mm. it implies there was way too much sauce. Ah, 그렇군요. 소스가 너무 많이 적셔져 있어가지고 이 고기 본연의 맛을 내가 느끼질 못했어 할 때도 drenched를 쓸수 있겠습니다. 여기서는 이제 sun drenched main square라고 했는데요. 이 광장이 어, 뭐 햇빛에 어, 흠뻑 뭐, 어, 물들어 있었다 이렇게 볼 수도 있겠고 여러 가지 상징적인 의미도 있을 것 같습니다. 빨간색으로 물들었다라고도 볼수 있겠죠. Okay, we're going to keep that there, and let's now remind our listeners of the quiz again. Quiz question this morning is related to people that you 
think warmly of. When yeah. you regard a person with respect or warm approval, you blank them. Is it number one, admire, number two, administrate, or number three, adventure? 네, 정답 맞춰주신 분들 중에 총 다섯 분께 떡볶이 세트 보내드리겠습니다. 계속해서 정답 보내주시고요. 노래 듣고 와서 세 번째 뉴스 볼크 살펴보겠습니다. 이번엔 헤일리 스테인필드 uh, and Blood Pop Capital Letters. In Capital Letters N E W S News Focus Number Three. 어, 백살의 갈라파고스 땅 거북 디에고가 멸종 위기 동족 살리기라는 임무를 성공적으로 마치고 귀향하게 됐다는 소식인데요. Let's listen to the story. A 100-year-old Galapagos tortoise who single-handedly saved his species by fathering 800 offspring is set for release. Diego was uh, recruited along with 14 other adults for a captive breeding program and will be returned to his native island of Espanola in March. Diego's contribution to the program on Santa Cruz Island in Southern California was particularly noteworthy, with park rangers believing him responsible for being the patriarch of at least 40% of of their 2000 tortoise population. 네, 자손으로 추정되는 개체만 무려 800마리에 달한다고 하고요. 한 80여 만에 귀환인 백살 갈라파고스 땅 거북 디에고의 yeah. 일입니다. Well done, Diego. <laughs> wow. You've been busy. Uh, yeah, so he is going to be returned back to the Galapagos region. But yeah, this is good news for the tortoise population of Santa Cruz Island yeah. in uh, Southern California. Mm -hmm. So he single-handedly saved his species. This is our expression to learn here. Yeah, so single-handedly means by yourself. Mm -hmm. But it means that you accomplished something big by yourself and it could be a good thing mm. or it could be a bad thing uh -huh. let's talk about a good thing first right. uh let's use son hung min as mm. an example let's say that during the game son hung min scores three goals mm. and his team wins three nil or three nothing right, right? well then you can say that Son Hung Min single-handedly won the game. Mm. Single-handedly means no help from mm. anyone else. You did it all by yourself. 네, single-hand가 손 하나만 가지고 했다 이런 뜻이잖아요. 직역을 하면은요. 그래서 이 의미는 혼자서 했다, 단독으로 했다, 누구의 도움도 받지 않았다라는 뜻입니다. I'll give you another possible example. Who was the one person responsible for all of this big climate movement in 2019? Greta Thunberg. She single-handedly changed how the world is viewing the planet. 어, 그러네요. 그래서 single-handed 그러면 은 뭔가 단독으로, 혼자라는 뜻이 되겠습니다. Now, those are two positive examples, but you can use this negatively too, 음. right? Um, if you go to a party with your partner, mm -hmm. and then your partner Let's say you're, the party is going great, but then your partner uh, drinks too much, Ugh. and then they start misbehaving, and they start using bad words, and then the party just kind of dies mm. after that, and people start to go home. Mm -hmm. Then you can yell at your partner, and you can say, you single-handedly ruined the party, mm. meaning you did it all by yourself. Uh -huh. No one helped you, uh -huh. and obviously that's a bad thing. 당신 하나 때문에 이 파티가 다... 망쳤잖아 <웃음> 라고 한다면 은 하나 때문에 라는 의미로 You single-handedly ruined this party 라고 할수 있겠네요. But Diego, he is a hero uh -huh. in the tortoise community. He single-handedly recreated or helped to recreate the breeding program. 그렇습니다. 멸종위기의 동족을 어, single-handedly 구해낸 Diego 소식까지 살펴봤습니다. All right, now let's announce the answer to the quiz. The quiz question this morning was, when you regard a person with respect or warm approval, you blank them. Your options were number one, admire, number two, administrate, or number three, adventure. And the answer is number one, you admire them. 네, 그렇습니다. 존경하다라는 의미로 1번이 정답이 되겠죠. 
Congratulations, Kim Younghun, Nim, Bae Youngmin, Nim, Lee Gukhwan, Nim, Jeon Jungi, Nim, and 9040 Nim. Tteokbokki set. And I just want to say, you know, I've worked with you for more than 10 years, and I really, really, really admire. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I knew something was coming. I knew it. Well done. Right. Well done. What is today's expression, Steve? Uh, grinning ear to ear. When we were talking about our listeners' messages mm -hmm. and uh, they were saying, you know, all of these little things that make them happy, the bus and the elevator and the morning coffee and mm. listening to morning special, I said that you and I were here in the studio grinning ear to ear. Yeah. And this is a pretty self-explanatory expression expression mm. because a grin is a small smile mm -hmm. right uh, and ear to ear means from one ear to the other ear yeah so the corners of your mouth when you are grinning ear to ear mm. they touch your ears so it makes the whole your whole face one smile and that's what this expression means when someone has a huge smile on their face mm. you can say they are grinning ear to ear ah 그렇군요 입이 찢어지게 굉장히 행복하다라는 것을 영어로는 한쪽 귀에서 다른 쪽 귀까지 이렇게 미소가 번진다 그래서 grin ear to ear라고 합니다 the korean expression for that is a little bit uh, oh, disturbing because oh. because it's actually if you translate it directly in English it would be your mouth is ripping apart because you're smiling. Uh -huh. <laughs> Same <laughs> meaning though, right? Same thing though. Yeah, yeah that's you're right. Grinning ear to ear. Yep. 그렇습니다. 여러분도 이렇게 작은 것으로 인해서 한쪽 귀에서 다른 쪽 귀까지 이렇게 미소가 번지는 그런 사연들을 많이 보내주고 계신데요. 몇개더 소개해드리겠습니다. 3092님이요. 요즘 저의 소확행, 기쁨은 도서관에서 큰 활자체 책을 빌려 편하게 읽을 수 있는 일입니다. I am in my mid-70s and what makes me grin ear to ear is when I go to the library and see these big fonts. Um, the books have been written in big fonts just for people like myself mm. and this is what makes me very happy, this yeah, person says. Yeah, makes things nice and comfortable, right? Yes, 그렇군요. Mm -hmm. 큰 글자체의 책들을 발견하면 책 읽기에 푹 빠져서 너무 행복합니다. 라고 보내주셨어요. 아, 감사합니다. 또 정창화님의 사연도 읽어드릴게요. Every day I go for a walk to a nearby park and when I arrive on a bench in the park, the sun comes out from behind the clouds and I feel really happy. And if that sun is all over covering that bench, then you would call that a sun-drenched bench. 아. And if the sun is all over the park, you could call it a sun-drenched park. 그러네요. Mm. 아까 배운 그 표현, 원래 이제 물에 흠뻑 적시다라는 뜻이지만 햇빛을 우리가 받았을 때도 sun-drenched. 이렇게 쓸수 있습니다. 정창아님 사연도 감사합니다. 그리고 마지막으로 김수연님 못 쓰는 저에게 대확행이에요. It's not a 소확행. It's a 대확행. Not a small happiness, but a big happiness. <웃음> Morning은 언제나 저의 삶을 업그레이드 시켜주며 꿈에 한발 다가서게 도와줍니다. 사랑이 멈추는 어, 우리 아, 넘치는 이겠죠. 네. 우리 모스 가정님들 오늘도 무지개 꿈과 함께 사랑 전송 드려요 하셨습니다. That's lovely. I'm so glad you feel really happy just by listening to our show. Absolutely. Oh, we got some great messages this morning making us grin from ear to ear. Yes. Well, I hope you do that all day today. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. I hope I do, too. Have a great Tuesday, and I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Well, taking Steve out of the studio now is Don't Cry, Guns N' Roses. I'll be right back in part two.